The master arrives. This is the new co-op. The limited edition. The limited edition co-op. Hey, give me some more essence of Dean, please. <laughs> yeah, you need some more. <laughs> Push it up. Oh, I got weight. I can help. Come on, come on. Don't mind me, I'll get this in by myself. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking that. Alright, something like that for right now. Oh man, the floor is super well. Yeah, we could. You're right. We so, could do that. And then that way, you're not don't have random space over here. I think that might be a move to move it this way. Oh, because I'm amazing. Yep. Hmm. Try something like that for a Two, three. Yeah, hold on, I don't have a grip. Okay. We did the countdown. <laughs> <laughs> we did the countdown and everything. Alright, watch the two by fours. We're gonna tilt. come down. Yeah, we're tilted. Tilt. It's gonna get heavy when we down. Alright. I definitely felt my right butt muscle. Flexing. Flexing. <laughs> you never knew the court. Tell me about it. I wasn't supposed to have to begin with. All right, well the big day is finally over. We got the 800 gallon in. So now it's all downhill for this build. This was the most, I don't know, dangerous and nerve wracking part and it took the most amount of people. And it didn't even go where we needed to go, but we thought we were gonna put it in the center of the room. Turns out my big fat head on the camera, knowing that I'm gonna live stream from over there, will just block the whole thing. Uh, the room is much bigger, it'll be better for acoustics, and it's gonna be great for when we have guests. That's been the whole goal is, you know, kind of back when we did Real Fish Talk, we had people on. All the decorations, so decoration for size or scale here. It's like a four foot decoration or something almost like that. That's one of them. Yeah, we've got the aquarium co-op sign. We don't know where that's going yet. That could go above the tank, could go over here on this side. We've got a 230 gallon aquarium right here where this one Lady Bird lives in right now. It'll be about this tall and it'll be right here on the back of this sliding door. Today, sound panel should show up. We've got a couple prototypes and they're gonna go along the bottom to help improve acoustics. And then we've got a big one that goes above the aquarium that'll be there. The old panels on the 800 gallon were black and they reflected sound and all of that. I wanted it to absorb sound, so I had custom panels made. This is not the right panel, by the way, but in theory, we're just gonna wrap it with this so it will dampen sound. We were running two sumps originally. No matter what we did, there was always the hum of the pump and that, and it just... You guys won't hear it on camera because Jimmy has to do a lot of work to eliminate it, but things that I can stop now will make it so that Jimmy doesn't have to eliminate it later. We did install the second uh, air pump runs almost silent compared to this big beast over here, which you could hear from the other room. This is our system that controls all of our solenoids. Yeah, it's almost, things are almost at temperature. They're not quite warm enough yet. Um, we're starting to put some substrate in. This is a new substrate that Dean got from a club member. It might be good for like Corydoras and stuff. That's the plan is I want to breed some Corydoras and from this build this far, we haven't used anything too crazy. It's sponge filters, air, and water. Like, yes, there's some lights, but people always ask, what lights are these? They're like Leon Night or something like that. Like, these are pretty low light aquariums, but that's how I want to run it anyway. And so we can always add more lights. And if it's not good enough, I'm going to buy aquarium lights for it. But these, mostly it's supposed to be low maintenance. And so that's the goal. Put a lot of light, you get a lot of maintenance. Ask Dean. That's why Dean, you wouldn't know it. We have to turn up Dean's lights when we film because at his house, they're turned all the way down till they're almost off. And that's how he keeps the allergy to a very bare minimum. I just gotta help Dean, we wanna get water and air. That's, if we can get water and air to that thing, start putting substrate in, then we just gotta wait for it to heat up because 800 gallons is more than my water heater wants to do at any one time. So, sooner we get it hooked up, sooner we can let it warm back up. 
All right, now time for a viewer question. This one comes in from Zach Gunter. Ideal temperatures for clown loaches, tiger barbs with a placostomus. Well, luckily for you, I've done that in the 800 gallon behind here before we moved it. Check out that footage. And really, I had it as high as 85, everything did well, and I've had it as low as 69, 70. And so I've done the gamut. I run all of my tanks actually at room temperature with a little bit of heating just to keep them above 70 typically. But you can find out all about that in the video right over here that kind of went viral and got me in a little bit of trouble.